Hi guys, uh, Daniel here and welcome to another one of my uh, quick how-to videos. Um, I was recently asked a question, a question on another video when I did about this, these Cooler Master fans and the different colour combinations and effects that you can use on them. The person asked, can you set them to a static um, colour and if so, can you specify the RGB um, numbers, colour numbers? Uh, the answer is yes and I'll show you what you'll need in this video uh, to do that. So in my PC I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Cooler Master ARGB fans. Three at the front, three at the top, one at the back, and I've also got an AIO. Okay. Um, and I'll show you what I've got at the side of the case next. So here we are at the side of the case, a uh, bit of cable management, nothing too fancy. And what we've got here is we've got a Cooler Master ARGB controller. And it's powered by SATA here, as it has a micro USB connector here. And this goes from here, in plugged into one of the motherboard uh, USB pins. Whereabouts for the um, power switch and stuff plugged in that sort of area. Um, and this is how I've got my system set up. Yours will probably be different. This this controller has four ports on the side. It has numerous other ports here. I don't use any of them. But the ports that we're going to talk about is these ones, the RGB ones. And the way I've got mine set up is I've got two cables, which are splitters basically. With this case, the front fans, they had a, it went into three and it plugged in. I've got two cables and the, the splitter cables and then another one tags on so that's how I've got mine set up so this is the unit I've got here uh, this actually came with the AIO but you can buy these separately um, important to note they do have buttons on them uh, this is magnetically mounted on the case so it doesn't come off it just sits at the back here I don't really touch it because it is controlled via the USB it's got numerous buttons on it that you can set it manually if you just want to set it manually Okay, so now I've shown you the inside of the case and the fans I've got. Um, they're currently running the Spectrum ARGB LED mode um, on the default settings, the speed, etc. And I've shown you at the side of the case, located in this area here, the uh, Cooler Master ARGB controller that I've got with the AIO that I'm using to control all this. Now I'm going to show you the software that I can use to control it. So the software that we're using and I've featured this in another video, is the Cooler Master Master Plus software and I'll show you the version. Now I'm making this video in January, on January the 13th to um, 2021 so if you watch this video at a later date things may have changed but it should be reasonably the same. So if we go on to this one here and onto configuration. The software version I'm using is 107. I shouldn't imagine they would take anything away from the software, but um, that's what I'm using anyway. So once you've got your controller installed and plugged into the one of the motherboard USB headers there, you can see them there. Um, the ARGB LED controller will show up here. Okay, and we need to select that. Now the first time you run this software, you need to go on the setup tab. It will give you errors about things not being right. I can't remember the exact error. It gives you something to do with setting it up first time. Um, and I'll show you what I need to do next. So here's the controller here, and there's A1, A2, A3, and 4. And we're only using these ones. Pa uh, power in the top, USB there, etc. And what you need to do basically is you kind of need to plan this. Like when you're building your PC, you sort of need to work out which ports you'd be plugging bits in. If, if you're really into that sort of thing. What I've gone and done here is I've gone and told it what ports have got what things plugged in. They're not 100% accurate, but it just, it works anyway. So that's that's how I've got it set up. So once you've done that, you go onto the ARGB lighting tab. And as you can see here on the modes, it's got all the modes you'd expect. I've, I mentioned these in a previous video. At the moment we're running the spectrum mode, which is that one. I can switch it to recoil, breathe in, refill, rainbow, put it back to spectrum, just in case you are oh, wanted that setting. Um, you can select the LED speed, just here. So if I turn that up, it'll go even faster or slow it right down slow. 
So this video obviously is about someone asking me, can you set the fans to a solid RGB color and specify it? So we'll, we'll move on to that bit next. Um, on the latest software, they've added a feature, added a feature on the menu, it's called static. There it is there. Um, and what this offers is a color wheel. Um, it offers preset colors and it offers RGB values that you can type in manually, uh, obviously the numeric values if you know them if you want to get everything uh, specific to your needs and there's also a brightness um, plus a negative sort of thing obviously LED speed doesn't apply to this but if we used to go on the preset colours like the red there for example if I just zoom that in red, green, blue and then if we just decrease the brightness halfway nothing, that's basically nothing right the way up and then the colour wheel you can, so we can specify the colours on that that's as easy as just literally uh, clicking around if I click around that and I show you you can choose virtually any colour you want and then when you click round the um, RGB numeric RGB values will change there accordingly so say if we get a really nice red uh, no let's go for a blue blue is quite cool and then we wanted to save that as a preset all we'd do is we'd literally drag it from there onto these things and then you can literally cycle between them so if you get the exact colour you want and you change your mind you can just cycle between them it's really easy just cycle between them like that um, the next thing to show you is you can obviously turn it all off back to static and it saves it all the time and then the last thing to show you is sync all ports so if you've got things plugged in here here RGB, ARGB, you may have a different setup to this you may have older bits and newer bits you can just sync all ports and that will give you three options then of motherboard, breathing and static and you get all those uh, you get all the RGB options but it, it doesn't keep the ones if you had it not ticked, that's what I'm saying so that it's sort of like its own settings for everything or it's, a, it's individual settings if you uh, untick that and go off this one here. So thanks for watching this video, um, I hope this helps you if you're wondering if you can set them to static colours, obviously the answer is yes. Um, so just to go over a few things again, these are all Cooler Master fans, I'm very happy with them, the quality is excellent. Um, I've got this ARGB controller. Um, this did come, with, did come with the AI, but you can buy it separately. We're running the uh, Master Plus software, the latest version, and we've got all these settings. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, if you like these kind of videos, then please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.